guys for tuning into another episode. I got old Thug Nasty Bryce Mitchell himself. And uh, Bryce, what do, we, uh, what do we think about Jessica? Sorry, Jason. Sorry, Jason. <laughs> Oh, my hand! Oh, yeah. Good. I've got an honorable mention. I've got the top five. I've got it all. And you don't know it. That's the best part. Yeah, well, I never know, though. When we go into stuff, it's on purpose. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning no into buffer. once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We are glad you guys are here on this exciting episode because we're fixing to get down this, to business. This is just our 200 and under. That's a lot of damn forks. You guys see that? <laughs> what I'm saying is we're fixing to get down to business. The first most asked question, what's your favorite bike? What's your favorite hardtail? Mm -hmm. What did we do? Wolf Dick Nation? We made a list. We made a list. We gave it to you guys. Yeah. Now, the second most asked question. Listen, I'm a, well, I'm going I'm to cut in right now and say we get asked constantly about what do we recommend. We don't. But. But we, t we can tell you what our favorites are. Yes, and I'm fixing to tell you right now. Uh, well, the second asked question has always been, yeah. what fork do you recommend? Yeah, Pretty much what's your favorite fork. So, budget guys out there, Wolf Dick Nation, everybody watching, we're fixing to get into it because this is the Ticks Top 5 Budget Forks with an honorable mention. And then the Wolf Man's interjection uh, down if I don't agree. Yeah, and he, he doesn't know my list, yeah, so this no is going to be fun. Yeah. We're going to take all of these down, and then I'm going to slap them up there as I'm saying them, man. From 5 to well, 1. Well, not all those. And it might not be in this order. All these ones that we test, we score them. Yeah. So I don't know why everyone asks us all the time what we feel about them. There's what we feel, but... That's how they scored, actually. That's how they because scored. Because yeah. sometimes we feel a little bit. You guys like, are fixing to find you, out. I would rearrange it on feelings. Yeah, but the ZTZ might be my favorite fork. You guys don't know. That's just me. Place your bets this. now. I'm going to yeah. go with no. So, uh, Wolf Dick Nation, um, thank you guys for being here. You do here. have good memories. Please that hit that like button, and everybody else, you are now part of the Wolf Dick Nation. Hit that subscribe button. Let's do this. Let's get down and dirty. Okay. Or maybe not that. Yeah. Let's let's get down to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready, but we'll find out because I, I don't know what you're going to say. And uh... All right, as you guys can see, the board behind us is blank. I'm going to have my opinions. These forks are interesting. As we said earlier, these are all $200 or less forks. When we bought them. Yeah, when we bought them. So, uh, so they're, if they're if, available Whatever or price not, they are now, or... if they're available or not now, you guys can see some affiliate links down in the description below. And uh, without further yeah, ado, it helps the channel. let's do this. All right, guys, top five forks. And at the end, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go from five to one. And at the end, I'm going to do the honorable mention. So make sure you guys the stick around. honorable mention after one? One or before one? Um, we could go before one. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Coming in at number five. I'm scared. This fork is a beast of a fork. I'm such a fan. Um, it's not the greatest, and we're gonna get into that once I tell you. Okay. And every all the Wolf Stick Nation will know why this one wasn't higher up in the score because this fork actually scored a 29.26. Okay. This is a hundred and seventy-six dollar fork. It is the Lutu AM34 that we have on the Mongoose <clears throat> Ledge X1. Yes, yes. I, I will. I, I and I don't necessarily disagree. Well, I'll have to know more once we get some other forks up there. I know you like this one a lot. This yes. one started off life with us a little rough because we had uh, it was advertised as 140 millimeter, which it is not. Mm -hmm. Still isn't, by the way. Yeah, I think the most we got it was 127 millimeters. Yes. If you guys followed along. Yeah, and and uh, but other than that, if you take that out of it, and you just say okay, they they misrepresented it. They gave us some money back on it. Mm -hmm. Now we're now now everything forward is just based on the fork itself. You love that fork. Yeah, I love that fork. It's got the rebound. It's got the big old thick stanchions, which I'm a big fan of, and that really helps. Whether that be a placebo or not, it always helps me mentally because I think I can feel a difference. You know, yeah. um, there's a big difference with stanchions, uh, but uh, the Lu 234, it's just a beast of a fork, man. Um, it's way. It's very sad that that fork is not 140 millimeters of travel. That's the biggest downfall on it, uh, the way it was supposed to be sold. But for the 127 that it does have, it's actually really good usable travel and. 
and um, it's not a bad fork. Lu2 come up with a pretty good product there. We, we've been fans of Lu2. We can beat on them a lot. And uh, this fork right here has withstood the time. There's a couple of them out there that are not. Yeah, and it is a, uh, <laughs> I believe it's a through axle tapered 27.5 fork. $176. We're going to put some affiliate links below. I'm curious if you can still get it for that price. I don't know. We haven't Just looked it Just make up sure you read what the travel says it's supposed to be. Well, the only problem is, hopefully they're honest when they put it up there. Mm -hmm. But the fork can't help who's selling it. It's probably going to stay on the ledge for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I love that. I love that fork, you know. Yeah. And it gets a lot of compliments out in the trails. It does. The other day, the guys were, everybody was all over going, dude, what is that fork, you know? It's a big, beefy fork. But anyway, that's my number five. And again, the score is a 29.26. Number five. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm not oh, okay. okay. I'm glad you're okay yeah, with I'm that. I'm okay with it. All right, coming in at number four. This fork here is a very interesting fork. It's one of my favorite forks that we have, okay? But the reason it got a number four is because there's some stuff, and you'll understand when we start talking about it, that um, I wish it had a little bit more of. And really, I wish you could ride on this fork, but you did the Wolf Dad Dino. Um, this fork got a score. Very important, the Dino. Yes. Wolf Man Dino. Yes, very important. Uh, it got a score of 31.31 points. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I know what it is. We did not buy this fork. This fork was sent to us by Berserker Nick. This fork is the Bellany Inverted Factory King of the Jungle fork that we have on Project Ron Burgundy as we speak. Yes, that that, that is a very interesting fork. Very interesting and fork. I also have to say about that fork is it is so much better than I thought it was going to be. And, and that's why you can't, I mean, like we've learned, we give everything a fair chance. Even if we think it's going to be trash, we give it a fair chance. We don't automatically start trashing on it or look for reasons to make fun of it. We give it its chance, mm -hmm. and that fork, I'm glad we did. It wasn't just because Berserker sent it. We get a chance because we, we, we do that with all forks or any parts. It was really interesting. And boy, it, it is a lot better fork than we thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, um, it was really interesting when Berserker said because it was more of the top echelon of budget forks, and you yeah. know, right at that $200 mark is what we find budget. So um, it's $191, and now the, the bummer on that fork is we can't find it on Amazon or eBay. You have to go to like Ally Express. Eey. But I was really glad, Berserker, that you took that... Um, what do you call it? Chance? Yeah, I and sent it And got Oof. it sent to us on going through Alex Rest. So thank you so much. But Shady. Uh, the inverted fork, now the score is a 31.31, which is not bad, but um, it's definitely not towards the upper. I thought that, that fork was going to score a little bit higher, but I think what really hurt that fork is the um, the smalls. It didn't do all that great on the smalls. The the fork, it was just, um, I think that bike mixed with that long wheel fork, it's just a little slacked out. So maybe some of the smalls are kind of attributed yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I know said that they Brandy H. Brandy okay. H that because she come down and rode that thing. Oh, that's, you know? that's right. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah. even had a little bit to say about the smalls. So it's not the greatest in the smalls, but the bigs, it actually soaks up some pretty big features. And um, all around, it's you a very that. cool fork. And I love that it's so different for under $200. Like, that is so cool that you can get an inverted motocross looking fork for, for under two bucks. Now, I will say this. Bucks. I am surprised that you have the... I, I would figure you would change those two. I really? Think you, I think you like the Lutu better. But you like both of them a lot. All right. Well, yeah. that is the Bellany Inverted. I love that fork. And as we speak, it is on the uh, okay. Project Run Burgundy, our Ardor. It I, is on there. And I plan on that being on there for a minute. Um, I haven't got enough riding with that bike yet. No. Know? Yeah, we've been on a lot of stuff lately. Yeah. Uh, I like both of those equally, probably. So okay. I, don't, I wouldn't really argue. All right. I just think I thought you would have them switched. Number four. That was the Bellany Inverted okay. Factory Jungle. King that of the Jungle. Four. Yeah. All right, three. guys. My number three fork. You guys might want to sit down for this one. Oh, okay, no, you I'm might want to sit down because everybody's like, Whoa, dear, yeah. oh. This fork scored a 30.79. Okay, a lot of people were hating. We paid a freaking steal. $169 for this yeah. fork. Sadly, the price has definitely jumped up. Well, it fluctuates. But. I've seen it as low as 173 ish lately. My number three is the Rock Shocks Judy Silver TK that we, uh, is currently up on the wall. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I grab that fork. Yeah, get that fork. We need some forks in this video. We're talking about forks and we don't even have any forks in the video. What's wrong with this? I don't know. We're talking about this one. We should have had it out there. But we're going to dress it up. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're doing. Might as well throw this boat anchor in there. Damn, that's enough. I want people to get the idea. All right, is that enough forks that's for you enough, guys? That's enough forks. We've tested some forks. Now, this is the uh, RockShox Judy Silver TK fork. A very good quality fork. One of the downsides to this puppy was a little heavy. And Now, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure this thing was like 4.71 pounds. The stanchions. We talked about this on uh, one of the latest videos uh, when we did the um, Wolf Tick 
excuse me, Wolf Taking Melissa's bike, we had talked about, uh, my little question to you guys was what um, diameter are the stanchions? These are 30 millimeter stanchions. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier- You always on think the, they're 28s. Yes, and as I said earlier on the Lutu 34s, 34 millimeter stanchion, 30 millimeter stanchion, uh, $169, the other one's about $10 more. People would say, well, I would definitely get the Rock Shocks over the Lutu, and we don't disagree with you on that. Um, just name brand and quality. Getting them is the problem, and but although <clears throat> one fork is a lot more expensive than the other, I can definitely fill the 34 millimeter stanchions on the Lutu as opposed to the 30s. I can fill it. These are 30s. So the Lutu's on a bike. We don't have those yeah. right now. The, the thing with the Lutu's also is they're tapered. Yeah, the and, Lutu's and, are tapered. And really... I think you can almost feel the difference when you run a tapered fork and a tapered head tube, yeah. rather than, not that you can feel tapered and, and straight the, steer, but rather than a straight steer in a tapered with an adapter. Yeah. To and me, the, it never feels the same. And the through axle. Through mm -hmm. axle and, and I'm the through axle, that's true. Now, that's something I also want to mention. Uh, with these forks, the reason why these forks are my number three fork, I mean, they only scored a 30.79, is because to get a name brand fork that you can the rebuild, value. right? We heard it's you can huge. rebuild these things, and you have a nine millimeter quick release with 120 millimeters of travel. Yes, it's 120. You know? Yeah, and again, with our scores, it's not how we feel personally about the fork, it's science. Science? So, you know, we're going to have a little bit of movement on the, the scoring system. We don't open up any of our forks, adjust yeah. anything, because it's all about how, how long they last being the way they're sent. Yes. Um, that fork right there is a very good fork. I don't mind riding on that fork with a lighter bike, and it definitely has to be a lighter bike because that fork is so heavy. You can feel that weight in the front end. I'm going to have to go back. You guys might have to go back watch the real-time review of it. I'm, I'm sure I mentioned on the GT Aggressor Pro going down Hayes Creek. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's Rock Shock Judy. We paid 169 for it. Yes, I think it's, it's a, like 220 something now. I don't know. Check the link. That was actually a drunken eBay purchase. You were. Was it? Yeah, you were. You were. You were yeah. sleeping. You I was up to them. like three in the morning. Don't think that you're gonna go on the internet and buy one for that price. If you do, it's probably gonna be about 180 bucks, and it's gonna be 100 millimeters of travel. So make sure you guys read yeah, the fine print. Yeah, you gotta you gotta look it over. You got that's the problem with that fork is there's so many variants of it. You have to be yes. careful not to accidentally get a coil. And some of them are coil. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. You guys ready for my number two? I'm, so far, this list, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for a shake-up. Yeah. I'm good with this All list. All right, guys, so my number two. And if you guys are enjoying this, please give it a thumbs yeah, up please. because uh, there's a lot of science involved here. Give some thumbs up. Kid. All right, I number two. This fork scored a 31.77, okay? We paid $191 for this fork. Thank you. This fork is a beast Thank of you. a fork. It soaks up the bigs. It soaks up the smalls. It's a light fork. It fills quality. And it's Some sitting people, back there. We need to dig it out. And it's sitting back there. We need to dig it out. Some people were hating on it because it didn't have any stickers when we ordered it. Yeah, it was but an OEM. you can still find this fork for $191. This is the Suntour Apixen, baby. That's what this fork mm. is. Check this thing out. That, that to me, some people ask us about a value category or whatever, and we can't, that's 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 hard too. But I will say, because the prices fluctuate too much. Yes. But here's my thing. At $191, to me, that is the best value. Even better than the RockShox Judy Silver TK, and I'll tell you why. If you have a, I mean, if you have a straight steer tube, the RockShox is perfect. If you have a tapered, this is the best value because that's a lot of damn fork for the money. It's a lot of fork. Look that's at a, the travel. A, so the travel on that one, didn't it end up being a little short? It was just a little bit was short. It? Yeah, was, I think it came out at 137. Okay. Something like that. So it got penalized a little bit. If you look back at our reviews, you can you can see in our initial impressions and reviews of these forks. Um, we should have links. I should put links to those. Anyway, but the thing is that, so this fork right here, I think is the best value, in my opinion, for under $200. Yeah. This is if a, you have a tapered head tube. If you have a tapered this right here fork and, and the uh, head tube or the steer tube is aluminum on this thing. It's got aluminum lockout knob and an air uh, valve thingamajig. Uh, it's got Gross. a compression ring. I love this fork. It didn't come with any stickers because it was OEM and I guess they're meant to put on different builds or bikes and people put yeah. their own brand name on their yeah. own colors. Now I did get a full send sticker and I put that sucker on there. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. Um, but this fork right here was on the aluminum comp zerker for a long time. And then we did that Bellaney video on it, uh, or was it Bucklers? We did the Bucklers video mm -hmm. on that fork. So this will be going back on the comp zerker. Now it does have a 15 millimeter through axle. This fork's a beast, man. I love this fork. It's one of my favorites and it's my number two. Yeah, uh, it's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, and it scored a 31.77. That's pretty damn impressive. This one right here, this is also a great fork, but, uh, 
It didn't. It apparently didn't make the list. I know it didn't it make the list. That was not bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's almost. I mean, hell, it scored almost exactly the same. Yeah, almost it just exactly has a the same. A little less uh, travel, but it has the remote lockout. All right. Are you ready? But that was a straight steer. Oh, and that was number two, right? Yeah, you're number two. Okay. So honorable mention. Honorable mention. Here we go. All right, guys. Honorable mention. This fork right here is not a bad fork. I always, uh, I've always underestimated this fork. I haven't ridden on it a whole bunch, but we've got so many cool bikes and stuff to choose from, and it's one of the uh, things I always regret when we took it off of a build. So um, this this fork here is really interesting. MTB Alex had a whole bunch to say about this fork. This fork scored a 31.76. This is the $200 Suntour 120 millimeter oh. of Pixon. There we go. Okay. There <laughs> and I wrote go. it down for it for you guys so you can see it there. Well, we're that, related. Uh, that I'm not just saying that because Wolfman mentioned it. Now, MTB Alex, I want to thank you because he kept talking up this fork. And the thing that he was really big on is this here. This is the remote lockout, right? Which is not necessary. <laughs> no, it's really not. But. Um, this is the remote lockout fork. My buddy David's got one on his RockShox Recon. And he's crazy about it. There's a lot of people that love this thing. I'm not crazy about it. I don't mind going like this. Well, you, and don't even, you don't even lock out your forks a lot. Yeah, I, I don't hardly lock out my forks any. Um, but I do, this is one thing I was thinking about. With forks, I do ride with a uh, heavier PSI mm. because we like them a little bit stiffer because they like to try to jump stuff. You yeah, know? you ride like an idiot. Yeah. yeah. But this fork here, man, it's a great looking fork. And something I really enjoy about the Apixen or Apixen Epicon, wherever the hell it was listed as, is the stickers and everything, they're like cleared over. You know, they're not just stuck on there. It's almost yeah, like painted. it's a little bit better quality. It's a really good looking fork. Uh, straight steer tube, the remote. Not crazy about it, but it works well. Uh, 27.5, and it has the 9mm quick release on here. Check out, it's 120 millimeters of travel, but it is one point no, away. It's not. No, oh, it's point. a. Uh, it's a it's a hundredth of a point difference. It's a hundredth of a point difference yeah. from its uh, older brother, yeah, the Apixen 140. Actually, I think that was young. I think this is the older fork, isn't it? I don't know. All right, you guys ready for number one? I think I think all the Wolf Tick Nation all that's been with this for they all know. Okay, now remember, guys, this is two hundred dollars and below. That's what's wonderful about this. That's what's wonderful about our channel is uh, we've got just such a really cool budget way of thinking. I, I don't know. To, to me, this is this in itself is its own thing. Yeah, I, I'm all for people getting bigger, better bikes. But everyone kind of needs their budget bike as well, just yeah. to kind of tinker with and have fun. And we're your budget headquarters. Yeah, we are. We are the budget headquarters, yeah. man. I don't know anyone that's tested more budget parts than we have in this amount of time. All right, let's go with number one. The ticks top five. My number one under two hundred dollar fork. This fork is a. Uh, there's nothing really more that I want more in a fork. You know what I mean? This fork soaks up the bigs it soaks up the smalls the travel whenever i'm riding and i'm not even trying to hit anything is amazing because the, like i'll ride this thing on a bike that's obviously a hardtail and the damn thing just floats over all the trails right this fork has never complained to me it's never made any weird noises this thing is sturdy as hell there's no flex in this fork uh, it's still very good uh, the build quality the stanchions everything look pristine on this fork uh, man this fork is the the unicorn of forks these days is hard to find. Yes, you can't find it, guys. I'm sorry. It's the X Fusion Enix. Uh, we paid two hundred dollars for this fork, and die. it's got a score of thirty-three point six five Damn, points. Thirty-three point six five. Now we have to thank this is Carson even, Brooks on that one. Yeah, Carson Brooks. Thank you, buddy, for uh, mentioning this fork when you could still get it. Uh, this fork, man. Not only mentioned it, he was pretty much demanding that we get that fork and try it out because we were doing, we were just getting into doing forks pretty good, and he's like, "Listen, this fork's pretty. Good. You, you guys would love this yeah. fork. The travel on it, it's 120 millimeters of travel. It's a light fork, and I would show you guys. But this is the fork. Whenever we get done putting a fork on a GT Aggressor Pro, that son of a gun put, gets right back Puts on right that back bike. On the yeah, GT. that is the uh, one That's of the few forks. That's why this guy don't get more uses because of that I know. fork. That is why. Uh, that is just to show you guys. We've got a lot of bikes. We've got a lot of forks. We've got a lot of builds going on, and that shows you how much I love that fork. Because every time we get done doing a review on the GT, I take my time to put that fork right back on that bike because I love it so much. Yeah, it is just a great all-around fork. You have thrashed on that thing, and yeah. I mean, you've you have beat on that fork, and it's still going strong. Yeah, the, the adjustment factor on that fork, uh, everything matters with that fork, and you can dial that thing in great. And, uh, and every it's just it's such a 
good quality fork. I love it. My only complaint about that fork and about X Fusion in general is they're just not make, they're know, not making man. more forks, or they're just something's up because yeah. you can't find them. The good news is any of you guys out there that ride a 26er, you can still get a 26. You can the yeah. Indexon 26. And it's like 189. We bucks. have a few 26er people. You know, I'm it's just cheap. really I'm yeah. tempted to buy one in 26. Yeah, we'll put the fill link to the 26er I'm as tempted. well. I get so excited whenever I see the 26er. Like, oh my God, there's one. We need to yeah. buy it. Yeah. And then crap, it's 26, not 27.5. Yeah. That's the ticks list. That's my reason for uh, for giving that there, guys. But uh, man, we appreciate you guys watching as always. If you haven't, we already reminded you, but please do it again. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Uh, we're gonna start referring to ourselves as the scientific budget leaders. You know, <laughs> we need to make shirts. They're gonna be here soon. <laughs> Don't stop, um, guys. We appreciate you watching, man. We really do. Wolf Tick Nation. Uh, we will see you guys on the next one. And uh, what do you guys? What do you guys think? You disagree? Yeah. You agree? I can't wait for the conversation. Give me your top five. Either top five or just tell us where we're wrong on these. I, I bet you. Well, I'm not, but. I bet you somebody's saying that's your number one. Yeah, Rock I, Shocks, yeah. Silver oh, Chicken. That's one. way better. For, that's Rock why Shocks. Sean and the rest of that stuff. Rock Shocks, man. <laughs> you you don't see a fox fork up there. <laughs> yeah, because it's $200 and below. Yeah.